Hello YouTube, this is Andrew Ebert, aka The Drew Cipher, uh, coming at you with another video. As promised, I said I would upload my everyday carry kit. God, this thing's hard to... I'm still figuring out how to get the right angles for um, seeing everything on here. Um, this is my everyday carry kit. This is the stuff I have on me every day or I use every day. Damn it, this thing's, stiff. This thing's tricky. Because um, I'm trying to look at it like I'm using the, the viewfinder as... Uh, as what's actually going to be on the screen, which is kind of messed up. Um, I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, this is my everyday carry kit. Um, this is stuff I have on me every day. Um, pretty much no matter where I am, except for I'm going through a place with a metal detector. First, I'm going to show you the stuff I always wear every day in regards to uh, what I put on. Um, I know this is kind of off topic, but it's still kind of covered. Um, my, um, this would be my deodorant of choice, right guard. I love this stuff. Uh, this is my cologne I wear. This was a gift from uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine. Um, it's uh, Derek Jeter's Driven. I love this stuff, uh, you know, as you can clearly tell. Um, I don't wear too much of it, but, you know, I wear a decent amount. Okay. Now, this is something I only carry really when I'm riding my bike. Um, I actually have a messenger bag. I, I keep this stuff in sometimes. Um, this is a uh, one-quart canteen by Surplus World on Morris Road here in Columbus, Ohio for six bucks. Pretty good deal, you know. It keeps my water cold and keeps it ready. Um, here's my sunglasses that I pretty much always have. You know, decent. Um, you know, I've had them for several years. Okay. I know this is kind of out of order, you know, and everything, but uh, 21 inch, inch cheapo baton, not really an ass, but, you know, it gets the job done, you know. Um, sometimes I carry it, sometimes I don't. Um, all depends upon the area I'm in. Ugh, collapse that thing. Um, I like keeping weapons, you know, like that, you know, just because that's how I am. Uh, if not, you know, if I'm in a vehicle, I keep it in the vehicle if I'm not carrying it, you know, or keep it in my messenger bag. Uh, yes, folks, that's right, I do dip. Grizzly wintergreen. You know, that explains my teeth. Um, something always important to have on you is a pen. This is just a cheapo pen. Picked up, I don't know where I got this thing. Um, my watch. It's a, uh, guest watch. I actually got it from a, uh, from my ex-girlfriend for Christmas. I love this watch. Um, yeah, you kind of see my socks in the background and you also see NCIS Los Angeles on. Um, my earbuds. I take these with because, you know, whenever I'm listening to music. This is my wallet. It's a Maxpedition wallet. I've had it for, oh God. Um, let's see here, when was DJ Knives last open in Westerville? Oh, da, 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 da. I've had it for over five years now. Inside, you'll see I got my driver's license. Not really gonna, you know, flash that. Um, library card, Westerville library card. My uh, Red Cross donors card. Um, some soldiers um, in the past have taped um, their blood type to their boots. I just keep in my wallet my Red Cross blood card. Because it has my blood type on there. Speed rewards card. Don't even know why I have that. I got a few lotto tickets in here that were winners. Uh, can't remember why I got on there on that piece of paper, so I'm not going to open it up. And you know, as you can see, I got a little bit of cash. I don't carry too much on me though, in terms of money. I'll put all that stuff back in there later. You know, I don't want to waste your time with that. Okay, on to my one of my favorite things. This is a K-Bar Warthog tactical folder. I got this for Christmas um, 2009 from, well, my ex-girlfriend, Lacey, who I kind of still love, um, but that's besides the point. Um, this thing really does not, <laughs> doesn't really need much sharpening, and it stays sharp as heck. Um, I love this thing. I love this knife. I use it for everything. I've used it as a steak knife, too. Um, this is actually a fairly f uh, recent purchase of mine. It's a uh, Nebo uh, mini flashlight. See? Um, it's actually got something similar to a Pentagon light um, where you can use it as a defense, w defensive weapon. 
um, here's the, you know, pretty much wherever your weapon goes, your light should follow and so should uh, your eyes. Always got that on me. It's small enough to always have on me. Okay, the ambiguous green hat. Always has been worn by me. I've worn this thing since high school, and I will d probably die with it on my head. Um, okay. My gun stuff. I carry a Taurus PT-111 Millennium Pro. It's a 9mm pistol. Um, normally I use an inside the waistband holster to carry it concealed. Um, since I didn't carry it today, I didn't have my CCW permit with me. So, um, it wasn't in my, uh, it actually wasn't in my wallet, so, eh. But, uh... Oh, you know, when I do carry, I do have my CCW permit, obviously, for uh, concealed carry. Open carry, however, I pretty much don't really carry it because that's not required in the state of Ohio. Yes, folks, that's right. Open carry without a, any kind of permit is perfectly legal in the state of Ohio as long as you're 18 and older and not a prohibited person in the Gun Control Act of 1968. So pretty much if you legally possess a gun and you're 18 and older, you can openly carry a, a, any firearm, really, although I'd only carry a handgun if I were you. Because eh, they can try to get you for inducing panic with a shotgun or a rifle. Not they not saying they'd win, but it'll cause you enough trouble that it's not really worth it. Okay, so got a load of full metal jacket ammunition. I know I'm, I can already hear my fellow gun nuts screaming, It's not hollow points! It's not hollow points! Well, I got news for you, buddy. I can't really afford a bunch of hollow points. Uh, I, you know, but these are good. They're reliable. They work. Um, you know, I got two 12 round magazines, plus I carry one in the chamber. I'm left handed, so the way I pick it up, you know, you can see down there, you know, it's got a polished feed ramp, which I actually had a buddy of mine do, because I actually bought this from him. Uh, I love this gun. Um, as you can see, I got the slide locked back, you know. Um, I'll do a review on this gun, you know, at a later date. I really like this gun. Um, I mean, it's not as good as a Glock, but it's still pretty good. I mean, I like Glocks a lot, but it's a good gun. There's my, uh, shoes, my tennis shoes with some socks. I actually need to take those and throw those in the hamper. Um, this is my, uh, key to my bike. I don't have a house key right now because I don't really need a house key. Um, technically I live at my mother's. Yes, that's right. I'm living at my mother's. This is my bike yeah 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 I know it looks old it's crappy it's not in the best of shape but it works it gets the job done and it's giving me yeoman service and that concludes the stuff I carry every day and there's a 24 pack of Mountain Dew which is something I love a lot um I would show you my bedroom but that's kind of a mess right now, but, I mean, let's face it, when is my bedroom not a mess? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a messy person. Uh, yeah, but do I really care? No. Um, yeah, that's my stuff. That's my everyday carry kit. Um, I rarely am without my firearm, but uh, I'm, I'm never without my knife or my flashlight. I always have those with me. So I always have some kind of weapon. Um, the only time I don't really carry my gun is when I go to places where, you know, there's metal detectors. Um, or if, uh, like today, um, pretty much where I was, I knew I was going to be under quite a bit of observation, you know, in terms of where I was. And there was running the risk of my weapon printing and... You know, that would have caused a stir and trouble I wouldn't need because they, they didn't allow weapons in where I was going. So I decided against it. Um, just so you know, here I'm going to move this out so I know how much time I have left because Oh, okay. I will conclude this and I will bring you a new video here in about a minute. So uh, thanks for watching and this is the Drusifer signing out. Stay safe and stay free, America. Bye.